the dark Finally I can see you crystal clear Go ahead and sell me out and I'll lay your ship bay This one I think I've gotten like halfway through and then this one like barely and so I figured I figured I'd open up like a random one and then I'd just read a passage and then we can all just like sit around. <laughs> and then, like, so it's Phenomenal Woman by Maya Angelou and it goes. This is actually my copy of the American Negro Poetry Anthology from 1995. So basically um, it's your buddy Ronin author, Ronin female author. After a while everyone will forget it. Years and years will pass. My mother will stop mentioning it. This is me she is carrying. I'm a baby. She does not know I will turn out bad. Flame flower, day torch, Mauna Loa. I saw a daring bee today, pause and soar, into your flaming heart. Then did I hear crisp, crinkled laughter as the furies after tore him apart? The cage bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown, but longed for still. And his tune is heard on the distant hill, for the cage bird sings of freedom by Maya Angelou. But don't you ever apologize for the way your eyes refuse to stop shining. Your voice is small, but don't ever stop singing. And when they finally hand you heartache, when they slip war and hatred under your door, and offer you handouts on street corners of cynicism and defeat, you tell them that they really ought to meet your mother. 6 a.m. I am downstairs in the basement of our house, nursing a mug of cooling tea and trying to avoid looking at the naked ductwork above my head. Neil and I never figured out what to do about the exposed pipes that are suspended almost a foot below the basement's low ceiling. We moved into this house two years ago. Praise God. Look at Walter, looks at Walter for a moment, he says nothing. She crosses rapidly to her husband. To her husband. Please, honey, let me be glad. He'll be glad too. She has laid her hands on his shoulders, but he shakes himself free of her roughly without turning to face her. Minute by minute, patient and patience, shifting from foot to foot, I begged her, I begged for the odd job, taking a seam out, sewing a hem, snipping off thread ends. Is the assertion that many schools with Greek systems will sanction fraternity houses but not sorority houses because according to the According to old blue laws, more than half a dozen women living together in a house is considered a brothel. It's in the neck of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hands, the knee of my chair. Because I am a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's it. I want to lie down somewhere and suffer for love until it nearly kills me. And then I want to get up again and put on that little black dress and wait for you, yes you, to come over here and get down on your knees and tell me just how fucking good I look. The phenomenal uh, program at ECF. I think a lot of us have been big sisters to the program or um, want to be big sisters and probably will be in the future. So it's definitely a remarkable program here on campus. And I think we raised um, a little over $70 today. Yes! So, yeah. Thank you everyone for coming. Literature and women's issues, I guess, are my two favorite things to talk about. So I'm really excited that everyone came out and talked about literature on a Friday night, like that just to me is like, it means so much to me. Thank you. <laughs>